Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, and with all who live with you. The Word became flesh, and made his dwelling place among us. It is Christ who enlightens our hearts and homes with his love. It is Christ, risen from the dead, who is our source of joy, hope, and comfort. Let all who enter this chapel find Christ's light and love. Reading from the first letter of St. Peter. So put away all malice and all guile, and insincerity and envy and all slander. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up to salvation. For you have tasted the kindness of the Lord. Come to him, that living stone, rejected by men, but in God's sight chosen and precious. And like living stones, be yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in scripture, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and he who believes in him will not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. In these words from St. Peter, we see that image of the church as a building, but also the church as you and I united Jesus Christ. Believe it or not, FedEx trucks just went by. hundred years ago today, May 19, 1920, Archbishop Patrick Hayes came, came to the clergy, the senior Father Parks, Father McDonald, and they blessed today, 100 years ago, the cornerstone. The start of St. Clair's had started a few years before. The building, our beloved Lady Chapel, was the first of the buildings to go up. And it has indeed, since that time, been a home. A home of Jesus Christ, where our Lord comes, giving us himself most especially, most dearly, in the sacraments. How many masses offered here? How many funerals? How many baptisms and weddings? All the life of Christ coming forth into our world, into our life. We too are called to be that living stone, to be willing to let Christ truly be dwelt within us and to realize a hundred years ago it's so different they were recovering from a war the pandemic but we're still in the middle of a war in the middle of a pandemic and so we're grateful we're grateful to those first ones who had the faith to lay first church dedicated to St. Clair of Assisi, and now we, their, their, their heirs, are called to continue to build, to continue to build on that church of Jesus Christ, so that God willing, a hundred years from now, different generations will gather. They will be grateful to us, they will look to the future, guided always by the Holy Spirit. The Son of God made his home among us. With thanks and praise, let us call upon him. Lord Jesus Christ, with Mary and Joseph, you form the Holy Family. Remain in our chapel, that we may know you as our guest and honor you as our head. We pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, through you every dwelling is a temple of holiness. 
build those who worship in this chapel into the dwelling place of God and the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught your followers to build their houses upon solid rock. Grant that the members of this parish may live their lives in firm allegiance to you and your teaching. We pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you had no place to lay your head, but in the spirit of poverty, accept the hospitality of your friends. Grant that through our help, the homeless, the poor, the addicted may find proper help. We pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you became flesh of the Virgin Mary. Grant that your presence may be made known always in this chapel and in our homes. We, have, we offer all these prayers as our Lord taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And during this beautiful month of May, we turn to Our Lady, the mother of the church, asking for her protection of this church, our homes, our country, our world. As we pray together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Now in a few moments, we're going to rededicate the cornerstone that was laid a hundred years ago. Let us pray. Lord, we rejoice in the victory of your Son over death. By rising from the tomb to new life, he gives us new hope and promise. Bless all the members of this church and surround them with your protection, that they may find comfort and peace. Jesus Christ, the Paschal Lamb, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, St. Joseph, St. Clara of Assisi, may Almighty God bless this cornerstone and the entire church of St. Clair. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.